so I was supposed to get out of here at like 7. It's 8.30. My plan was to go up north and chase Pike, but um, a bit of snow last night. I think I'm going to go fish for some urban fish, which is not too exciting. I mean, don't get your hopes up super high right now. Delicious. I have to make two trips right now. I have to go drop off a walker. Texas Ranger? No, there's nobody on that one. I got a final warning from the bank that they're gonna close my account. So I, I gotta go take care of that. So I gotta go put like 20 bucks in there to keep it alive. Otherwise, I won't be able to cash all those checks I get. <laughs> I know, it's taking me forever, it's 9.30. <laughs> We're gonna fish. On a very tight budget today. I'm gonna try to get a USB cord and some lunch with this. So I have $25 to my name. In a lot of videos you see these like really cool drives and they do like fast motion through these really cool things. Ain't nothing to see out here. It's gonna be flat and white. Do you root you wanna see it? Okay, fine. Is that enough of that? I'm ready to be there already, so, yeah. One keeps driving me insane. Uh, so I'm gonna do a fly check real quick, see what I got. I totally forgot that uh, uh, to do that before I left, so I might have to make do. So I've got this thing, a soft side, a grotesquely large Jesus lizard, a 40-40 and the backstabber. I should be all right today, I think, I hope. This is what happened. So I was hiking around up in and out of uh, ditches around the river and following beaver trails um, everywhere. And I found a freaking boatload of gigantic carp. These carp were like in the worst possible locations. They were tucked up underneath these trees and I could not cast to them. I, there was nothing I could do. I tried very hard. I had to get some french fries and wait for my phone to charge because I'm trying to find this place and I can't without my phone. Uh, I hooked up with JJ and we went and fished the old carp spot. I've fished with these guys before in this spot. They know this spot so well, it's ridiculous. And they fish them with nymph rigs and indicators. And I am completely oblivious to carp on nymph rigs and indicators. And I got schooled down there by uh, JJ, man. He tore it, uh, every time I looked over, I'm like, really, you caught another fish? That's that's some BS right there. So he just kept, and he kissed one, and wow, <laughs> who kisses carp? He said, so JJ said that it you know, may, might be a good idea to sweet talk uh, the carp, and apparently he was right, because he tore it up. That's why you, that's why you're catching fish, dude. Huh? No, you call, you keep calling them beautiful and I know. You're a sweet taco. I'll sweet talk them. Seriously. <sighs> now what is not on film is us night fishing for bass and we ended up catching three bass at night, but it was raining uh, when we were fishing, so I didn't want to get the big camera wet, and the little camera cannot see anything at night at all. That happened, but it's not on video, and I, uh, I'll try to do better next time. Um, oh, forgot about this. Of my 20 bucks, I went and bought french fries, and then I went to uh, Wiener Schnitzel, ja, eight bucks, and then I got a water. Did pretty good, I came out on top. Hope you enjoyed today's video and hopefully I've got some more coming very soon.